What's going on, you fam? Ryudin here, and it's about that time. Good old top 10k grind. So, you know what we're about to do? We're about to do some matches and then try to get that 1000 crystal boys. So, for today's top 10k grind, I'm gonna be rocking the future team uh, just to spice it up. The future team from the last two weeks has grown quite significantly, and it's a very fun team to run, very strong as well. So, here's the team we're gonna be rocking. We're going to have Zamasu, the new Trunks, Mai, Future Gohan, uh, the new Transforming Future Gohan, and Goku Black on the bench. Uh, now, you guys might say, why not you know, uh, why not use the new Goku Black? He's very strong. And, uh, well, for me, uh, you know, I had, to, I had to make the choice for my purple type to either be the Goku Black or the new Trunks. And, I mean, between the two... It's a bit of a no-brainer. For sure, I'm going to be going with the Future Trunks. He's uh, all around stronger and more capable, in my opinion. I know that the inflicted damage will indeed stack, but this whole thing requires Goku Black to get hit, and if you're someone that likes to maintain and capture priority, then you can't really take advantage of it. And I feel like in virtually all cases, the Future Trunks can 100% do uh, much better. At least I feel. Uh, some of you may disagree, but, I mean, uh, that's the beauty of uh, this game. Feel free to use whatever team you wish. Now we're done talking about that. Let's jump into some PvP. So Alrighty, here's the first match of the video. Going up against a really awesome movie saga team. I uh, haven't seen that purple Brawly in so long, so I was super happy here. Now you can see I'm struggling with who I should bring here. Uh, none of his units are uh, able to nullify endurance. So I was debating on the Zamasu, but ultimately I go ahead with the usual good old uh, future Gohan, uh, the transforming Gohan, and the future Trunks. It's just such a wonderful combination, really. Uh, you have one unit that you can afford to get rid of. The transforming Gohan's green ability is very, very strong, like in this case here. Uh, go ahead and use the green card just to throw out this Broly so I don't have to worry about him for too long. You know, just chuck him away. And not only that, but every time you chuck away a unit or when a unit swaps out, Gohan gains 30 key and does more blast damage, so it's really nice. I uh, start out the match here with a ultimate card. Oh, no. No. I mean a blue card. Now you notice here that the frames drop a little bit there, and uh, one interesting I picked up is one interesting thing I picked up rather is uh, when people do lag with the um, uh, during the match when they do lag switching or whatever or whatever it is when there's a small little hiccup. Um, my phone for some reason when I do the recording it kind of just freezes there. Very very strange. I think it has to do with the way that I'm set up uh, recording things. So I apologize about that. But uh, yeah, I really like this team that we're rocking here because you have one unit that's sort of, uh, I don't want to say he's expendable, but uh, if there's someone you have to feel not that guilty about losing, it's this yellow future Gohan, which is nice. Sometimes you don't, sometimes we have that one unit where we're thinking, uh, you know, if I lost them, it wouldn't be too detrimental. And for my team, it's the yellow future Gohan for sure. Like, I have someone that can uh, take most of the hits, maybe take a rising rush, and it'll still come to my benefit. Because as you may know, when Future Gohan dies, the remaining units on his team, he will buff significantly. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head if they have to be uh, within the Future Tag or not, but uh, in this case, I don't have to worry too much because everyone here has the Future Tag. Now, my opponent goes ahead with his Rising Rush, which is great. I mean, uh, I would much rather the Future Gohan get Rising Rush as opposed to everyone else, but to our advantage here, we guess it correctly. So he brings in the Pycon. Now, uh, before, I could have Rising Rushed him and got rid of him, but I was thinking it would make more sense to save it for uh, the Broly, because Broly is very, very strong still. Well, don't underestimate him. I, even though Blast Armor got nerfed a little bit, there's no way to, uh, that's no way to just sleep on Broly. Broly's still an animal here. So our opponent captures a priority here. I haven't transformed yet here. He brings in the Broly. And I'm thinking, uh-oh, I can't get hit by that, but uh, for some reason it gave me the option to get away from it, which is quite nice. Now, out of everyone to get rid of, it's definitely this Gogeta. And I, I still have this issue where uh, I, I need to stop doing that, as you'll see. I just keep I just keep sidestepping. A big a big weakness for me. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta just sit there and be patient. But, you know, we're all, we're all learning, right? See, otherwise I wouldn't get caught by this, and I wouldn't have to deal with this. Our fa uh, the world's fa everyone's favorite thing, friggin' faint. 
But at least I can bring in the future Gohan to take the hits, uh, just to drop this combo here. And everyone else gets buffed significantly, which is quite nice. So we go in with a blast attack, go in for the tap attack, but he matches me there. Uh, it seems like people are getting adapted to it. Go in with some blast damage, do some really good damage, drop my combo, which ultimately works in my favor. I got super lucky there. And one of the beauties of using any sort of technique, whether it be a green card or a main ability that freezes the match, you get an opportunity to see what your opponent is doing and be able to react to it more appropriately. So it's very useful. In that case, I got very lucky there where I popped the transformation for Gohan and I was able to use the blue card to take out the Broly, which is quite nice. Now here's the Gogeta, he's the last guy left, and I had a feeling this Rising Rush was going to be there. Like, any time you see that you have, like, what, three Dragon Balls, just immediately assume your opponent has a full Rising Rush, because let's be real here. And in the rules of Dragon Ball Legends, if, uh, if you are getting lucky, guess what, your opponent is twice as lucky every single time. Here's the second match of the video, going up against Tony with a... Uh, at first I thought it was going to be, like, God Key, and then it kind of looked like just a Saiyan team and then maybe it's like a mixture. Uh, at first I thought it was also a Vegeta family but it's just an interesting mix of units here. Yeah, I get to face this Vegeta. This Vegeta is still so so good. He's such a good Vegeta if you ask me. I feel like a lot of people forgot about him just because uh, when he came out a lot of other very very strong units came out of nowhere and took the spotlight away from him. He's still very good. Uh, you know, it's pretty ballsy to be using him now of all times though, considering there's so many rampant, strong purple units going about. So, you know, kudos to this guy for doing it. Uh, very, uh, very gutsy to do that. But uh, yeah, I know for a fact that I gotta be very careful for him. I gotta make sure that uh, um, when I use my Rising Rush to make sure that he is not able to swap in. So I'm hoping that he would swap in and he does so I get to take this green card and chuck him away just get rid of him so whoever's next I'll be good for now here's where I kind of goofed I didn't know what order of who's going to come next so uh, I wasn't able to swap out to the future Gohan uh, the other future Gohan rather and uh, in the end he gets priority I tried to I was pressing rising rush but I didn't capture it which kind of sucked and he has a green card as well so he gets to capture priority again, and I knew this was going to happen. I knew my opponent had a Rising Rush, but I still took the risk to swap him out because uh, I still, you know, like I said earlier, if there's someone that I had to risk losing, it would be the future Gohan, so I thought it would be okay. So unfortunately, I ultimately have to lose him. Uh, he gets the Rising Rush going. But at least everyone gets buffed, right? Everyone comes through. Like, I mean, I have this Trunks to take care of his uh, green Vegeta. 100%. I have the utmost confidence that this Trunks is able to take care of his uh, Vegeta in one single combo. One single combo for sure. And we're about to see that right now. Swaps in, which is good for me. Man, this main ability, being able to gain key and cards, I'm telling you, is just so strong. Even though they made it so that you do less damage with uh, the more actions that you take, look at this, it's it's crazy. And then I baited out his, uh, his Vanish there with a single tap, and then I gain priority back, and I'm confident that he doesn't think it's gonna be a green card. And maybe I should have popped Gohan's main ability so that I would have been type neutral, but I still had the confidence that I was able to get this off. And I'm making excuses because I forgot. Look at this. Crazy damage still. Trunks being on the bench, the guy is still an absolute animal. Type disadvantage and we still hit 2.4 mil. Fantastic. So at this point, I'm pretty confident that we have it in the bag, but I don't want to be too reckless here because you never know. You never ever know when your opponent has another Rising Rush. Like I said, if you think you're lucky, just assume your opponent is twice as lucky, 100%. Because like without a doubt, for all we know, they already got another Rising Rush. So that's what I'm thinking right here. I'm, I'm very worried about it. So all we have is Trunks left. But Trunks is super buffed as he's the last dude here. And he was waiting for my sidestep, but that's not going to catch me. So I go ahead and take care of his Goku. I'm thinking I'll be okay here. Uh, I should have backed up here, but unfortunately he gets me. I was hoping for a blue card, really. But here we go, he's doing minuscule amounts of damage, and he seems to be pretty passive. I wonder why. My, I was thinking, if I go in with a blue card, I'll be able to deal with key cards, but I knew it. There it is. There's that infamous thing to watch out for, the damn rising rush. So, 
like I said, always assume your opponent is twice as lucky. So he gets his Rising Rush going, but this Trunks is such an absolute monster that even though he his Green Vegeta is weak and he has no units, I'm still alive, still up, and my opponent forfeits because it would have been inevitable that uh, he would have died there. And then here's the third and final match of the video, going up, against, uh, going up against a God Key team. Quite nice. I like facing diverse amounts of teams. It's very fun. So, start out with the Yellow Gohan, as always, because if I lose somebody, it, it can be the Yellow Gohan. I mean, he has his green card to heal up as well, so there's always still that wiggle room for making mistakes. And uh, he's tanking this very, very well. The future team has such good synergy, really. But, I mean, between the future team and this damn blue Goku, uh, he's, he's definitely winning that tanking bet there. I was surprised that I dropped the combo there. I didn't, I didn't think I did. Uh, I Lately, I've been seeing people drop combos so strangely, even though I, I would have assumed that they got it, or I kept it, rather. Kind of screwed up there, and he gains priority. And Oh, man, I was so worried for this future Gohan, because... He's not even holding back. He knows that Vegeta's lock-in is very short, so he's just going. He's not even caring for side steps. He's going straight for it. But for me, I was so hesitant to swap out because, um, like I said, if I think I'm lucky, my opponent is twice as lucky. And if I swapped out, I would have got hit by this Rising Rush. That's exactly what I was worried about. So I kept the future Gohan in there. Uh, thankfully, we guessed his Rising Rush correctly, but I know what's going to happen. This is going to happen. He's going to come through. I should have just went with a Rising Rush, but it is what it is. It would have been better if I did this instead so I can secure the kill. Go in with the blue card just because I don't think he thinks it's going to be a blue card. And we get lucky. He thought it was going to be a green card, but it was a blue card in the end. So we get him out with the Rising Rush. Now I don't have to worry about losing priority too easily because... Uh, Man, that God Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, people are underestimating him. I would, on the God Key team, uh, you would have uh, expected him to be run more often, but I guess not a lot of people think he's strong enough, I'm not really sure. But capturing priority back is really, really good. And man, uh, he uses Goku's ultimate ability, and I'm not even concerned. Not only do I have a green card, but I mean, like I said before, if I have to lose somebody, I have no issue with losing future Gohan. Which, guess what? We do. I didn't expect the blue card to be there. I honestly thought it was going to be the green future Gohan that was going to come through here. I did not think it would be the trunk, so I kind of wasted his main ability. Whoopsie! Go in here. Just do as much damage as I can. This trunks, I'm not kidding, man. I'm, if you had to choose between the Goku Black and that trunks, I mean... I really don't think it's much of a debate for the purple spot. For sure, it's the future trunks, 100%. And let me tell you, the next 5 seconds are going to prove to you exactly why. I'm the last guy left, I don't know if he has a Rising Rush or not, but I gotta be careful, so I gotta go all out. Now look at this. Absolutely ridiculous. That blue card did 1 million damage. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I was worried he'd have another Rising Rush, because honestly I'm not kidding. At this point it's just like, it's like traumatic Rising Rush. It's like, oh god, does he have a Rising Rush? I don't know. But thankfully he doesn't have a Rising Rush, we get to close it out. That's the third and final match of the video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope your grind is going, uh, you know, easy. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, lately the PvP grinds have been much easier as there's less competition. Thus is the nature of people leaving the game a little bit. But uh, either way, more CC for us. So, uh, you know, till next time. Peace out, guys.